news headlines today. Results are being declared in the U.S. midterm elections, with control of Congress hanging in the balance. Republicans are likely to take control of the House of Representatives, according to projections, but the Senate fight is on a knife edge. Reports BBC. Elon Musk sells Tesla shares worth $3.95 billion days after Twitter deal. Reports Reuters. Facebook parent Meta fires more than 11,000 employees in a bid to reduce costs following disappointing earnings and a drop in revenue. The broad job cuts follow layoffs at other major tech companies, including Elon Musk-owned Twitter and Microsoft. Reports NDTV. Nepal earthquake kills at least six villagers, rattles New Delhi. Reports Reuters. The High Court in London on Wednesday rejected the appeal of fugitive diamond merchant Nirav Modi and ordered his extradition to India to face charges of fraud and money laundering, amounting to an estimated two billion U.S. dollars in the Punjab National Bank (PNB) loan scam case. The 51-year-old businessman remains behind bars at Wandsworth Prison in southeast London. Reports PTI, The Times of India, and the Indian Express. India set to become third largest economy by 2027, says Morgan Stanley. India is set to surpass Japan and Germany to become the world's third largest economy by 2027, Morgan Stanley has forecasted. Reports NDTV. Justice D.Y. Chandrachut sworn in as the Chief Justice of India. President Drupadi Murmu administered him the oath at a brief ceremony held at the Rash Trapadi Bhavan. Justice Thananjaya Yashwant Chandrachud was sworn in as the 50th Chief Justice of India on Wednesday, November 9, 2022. Reports the Hindu. Kerala government to promulgate ordinance to remove governor as chancellor of universities. The state government decided to take the extreme step after the governor in his capacity as chancellor has unilaterally set up a search committee for the selection of the new vice chancellor of Kerala University and began moves to remove 10 vice chancellors from their position, alleging flaws in their selection process. Reports the Times of India. The properties linked to a Telangana Rashtra Samiti, TRS, Minister are being searched by the Enforcement Directorate in an illegal mining and money laundering case. The minister, Gangula Kumlakar, is in Dubai with his family. Mr. Kumlakar is the Minister for Backward Classes Welfare, Food and Civil Supplies, and is an MLA from Karimnagar constituency. The Enforcement Directorate, or ED, action against the minister is likely to escalate the fight between the BJP and the Telangana Rashtra Samiti or TRS, government led by Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao, also known as KCR. Reports NDTV. Fake bank operating in Chennai, eight other places in Tamil Nadu busted. The Rural and Agricultural Farmers Cooperative Bank was active for nearly a year. It collected unauthorized deposits and advanced loans claiming to be an entity regulated by Reserve Bank of India. The prime accused, Chandrabose, 42, who had an MBA degree from the United Kingdom, reportedly ran the entity. Reports the Hindu. Thank you.